Whether you're new to the crypto space or a veteran, there are many things you can do to generate income from your efforts here. They are vast and wide, which is why so many are learning of this new era of disruption and looking to capitalize. Many who entered the space towards the peak of the last bull cycle got caught with their pants down as they continued funneling money into assets they knew nothing about, while those that entered the space before them were profiting on the way up and on the way down. The market is a cycle, like all other markets, though the crypto market, as early in its stages of understanding, development, and adoption that it is, is a little more predictable than others. With an approximate two-year bear cycle and two-year bull cycle, roughly speaking, those of you watching this video now are primed to change your lives over the next two years, provided you're willing to put in the work. This video contains the top five ways to make money in crypto for 2021 and 2022. And remember, do your own research and never just run out and buy anything just because a YouTuber likes it. We aren't always right, and it's your money you're playing with, and you never know who's getting paid to tell you about one project or another. Number one, accumulating assets. Possibly the most simplistic method for generating wealth in crypto is simply buying into the right projects at the right time and knowing when to exit those positions. Generally speaking, the majority of the tokens in the top 100 of the cryptocurrency market cap are likely going to grow in value significantly over the next bull cycle as sentiment grows. This sentiment is established from a variety of indicators, all of which stem from on-chain metrics, partnerships, marketing, and overall popularity in its use case. When studying a cryptocurrency for potential investment, you want to look into what its use is. Is it a niche use case utility token or a broad use blockchain? How is the transactional volume growing? Is it being actively developed and enhanced over time? Does the team look solid? Is the community growing and excited about this project? Was the project around during the last bull cycle? And if so, how well did it perform? To gather this sort of data and more, I refer to a variety of tools such as Sandbase, Token Metrics, or Masari, all of which have links in the description below. The pros of accumulating assets are it's insanely profitable with some tokens getting over a thousand X return from buying and holding in a bull cycle. Easy to obtain on various exchanges. Use CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko to find out which exchanges carry the coin you want and refer to CER.IVE to find out approximately how safe those exchanges are overall. Cons. The projects could be a scam. Loss of community interest over time due to slow development or progress. Exit scams. Hacks. Infighting between team members that create FUD and more. Number two, DeFi. Decentralized finance. In 2017, we had ICOs or initial coin offerings pushing the market higher and higher. In 2020 through 2022, we have the decentralized finance craze. DeFi is a term used for a variety of protocols and applications meant to disrupt the traditional finance market's method of operating. DeFi is so profitable for many that the record-setting high transaction fees on the Ethereum blockchain is often ignored by investors, which is the primary blockchain DeFi apps are currently built on. Among the many use cases for DeFi, including borrowing or loaning value, betting, exchanges, money cyclers, and so many other things, the pros of DeFi is it's extremely profitable. There's extremely high profit potential for some coins and some projects. The cons. When regulations catch up to this new wave, it could dramatically affect profitability overall, Use and accessibility across the board causing many projects to go flat overnight. Exit scams. Smart contract hacks. Difficult for newcomers to get into and understand. While the sole purpose of DeFi is to decentralize the way we handle financial transactions, I believe it's still a bit early for a risk-averse investor like myself and rather prefer a centralized platform such as Celsius Network, which is led by Alex Mashinsky, the patent holder for voice over IP, and respected for his integrity and desire to dethrone major corporations from taking what they can from the public. Though, if you're interested in DeFi, check out Unistake for what appears to be a pretty solid platform that started with me originally as a paid promotion in previous videos, but in further research appears to be a solid platform for people looking to enjoy multiple revenue streams at once. Number three, automated bot trading. Now we're getting into my area of expertise. 
When I first started seeing articles and guides about algorithmic bot trading, I thought, this must be fake. Only major firms have access to these and they cost millions of dollars. Boy, was I wrong. I first started into bot trading with a simple and not very powerful bot called Leonardo. Quickly, I realized it wasn't an automated bot, really, and then found GunBot. Pricey, but powerful, and exceedingly difficult to use. I kept looking until I finally discovered Profit Trailer which became my source for profits through the last bull cycle, of which I would have days where I would make $1,500 or more in profit. It was still a fairly difficult bot to use, and since then has changed drastically into a cloud-based confusing mess of strategies and other things, and so I set out to develop a bot that was not only powerful, automated, and easy to use, but would empower people to be able to change or tweak settings in a variety of powerful strategies. That's how CrowTrader.com was born. Crypto bots work by taking a base currency such as Bitcoin and trading it against the volatility of another asset using strategies in order to accumulate more of your base asset. An example would be someone manually trading a 13 over 34 EMA strategy on a 15 minute candle. Well, you could either watch the chart and make the trades manually during that 13 EMA crossing up over the 34 and trying to catch an uptrend, or you could use a strategy within CrowTrader to do it for you automatically. With a variety of base strategies including Bollinger Bands, Double EMA Gainer, Ping Pong, SMA Trifecta, and others, you can define these strategy settings to work best depending on the market at the time. If you're in a bull market where the prices for everything is generally going up, so you're set up to capitalize on the dips or vice versa, you can. One of the beauties of cryptocurrency is the volatility, which makes bot trading like treasure hunting in a sea of gold. Though it's not foolproof, and even back testing and paper trading can show different results from that in live trading, so even a bot like Crow Trader that's easy to pick up and use should be monitored, and the more you understand what you're doing, the better off you'll be. The pros of automated bot trading are, they're powerful. They're profitable and a semi-passive income stream. You need to keep an eye on them. The cons are potential bags. Accumulation of bags if your base coin pumps above its pair, which means capital tied up in a trade, it can't exit until you either DCA or dollar cost average down or wait for the two to meet again, which they typically do, but sometimes it could take hours, days, or even weeks or longer. Some are more difficult to learn than others, but all bots should be studied and tested long before trading with live money. Number four, manual trading. While many on YouTube and others try to make this look and sound easy while hiding their bad calls and promoting their good ones, the truth of trading is you are 74% more likely to profit from a buy and hold method than actively trading. The reasons for this are many, but among them are manipulation by whales that have much more in assets than you do to move the market in one direction or another on spot trading markets while profiting from derivative platforms as the prices move in either direction with their shorts and longs. So while you think you're trading the natural flow of the market, you're actually trying to predict the moves the whales are likely to make, which can be very unpredictable. This is where technical indicators come into play. Indicators are methods for measuring the market's price action, volume, and patterns to try and determine whether the price is to go up or down. The more traders there are that use a particular indicator, the more that indicator becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and grows in accuracy. If 50,000 traders across the world are using the same indicator and are trained to form the same potential outcomes to a trigger, they are all likely going to act on that trigger the same way and create a trend. Nothing is 100% foolproof in trading, let alone crypto. However, mountains are made from molehills in the trading world, and while there is always a loser to every trade, there is always a winner as well. Which side of that coin you're on will depend on your experience, knowledge of the market, your indicators, and often even luck. One of the best technical indicators I've found is called Market Cipher. It's not cheap, but it's extremely powerful, and though there is a lot to learn and master with it, once you get the hang of things, it's very solid and one I use myself daily. Number five, mining. One of my very first ventures into the crypto space was mining. 
I remember maxing out three credit cards to buy all the parts I needed to build my first Ethereum mining rig. There's something about playing an active role in the decentralization of a favorite blockchain project that feels empowering on some level all while putting money in my pocket passively. I originally built a 6 GPU Ethereum mining rig and later did a tutorial on how I built my second one. These rigs can mine just about anything given the right software and settings, and there are many resources out there to fill you in on what is most profitable to mine at any given instance. I decided that instead of trying to keep up with the most profitable coins to mine, to just use something like Kudo Miner, of which there is a link in the description, and make it much easier on myself if it, as it does the calculations for me and is super simple to set up. While mining is very profitable, it can also not be so profitable. What I mean by that is, it depends on when you're buying your mining equipment, the specs on the equipment, and how much you paid for it that can dictate whether or not it's more profitable to build a miner or simply just buy the crypto you're wanting and hold it. For example, if it costs me $4,000 to build a mining rig and I'm going to mine something like Aeon because its all-time high was $10 and I want to accumulate the token, is it better to spend that money on a mining rig and mine up approximately 10,000 of those tokens over six months or more or just buy 50,000 of those tokens at the current market price of just eight cents and hold them? Obvious answer here. However, if you're watching this video mid-market cycle and the price per coin were $5 each and you have another 6 to 12 months before the cycle peaks, now it may make more sense to build the miner because at this point, that $4,000 may only get you 800 tokens while you may well be able to mine 8,000 of them between now and the peak as the price grows. And ultimately, the difficulty to mine them does as well which means you'll mine less in the time frame, but still end up with significantly more than if you were to buy them outright. It's all about timing. Many miners are mining on speculation, meaning they enjoy mining coins with low difficulty that they can accumulate a lot of in a time frame, hoping they moon in value someday in the future. Another form of what I consider to be mining is staking or masternodes, which also provides passive income streams without having to buy special hardware. Projects like Cardano or Divi Token are two of my favorites. The pros for mining, it's fun for hobbyists. Potentially very profitable passive income streams depending on when you begin and the cost of your equipment. The cons are the hardware costs and it can be a little technical and you can suffer hardware failures. You may or may not be profitable depending on the aforementioned scenarios. Now, I hope you enjoyed this top five list of ways to generate money in crypto. Here are some honorable mentions for you to think about. Why not start a YouTube channel of your own, research projects, and share what you learn with people looking for that information? Just be honest, open, and transparent, and you'll find your seat at the table. There's a lot of money to be made on crypto for good, hardworking, researching, honest individuals with a good personality and a solid voice. Perform microservices on a crypto-friendly platform such as Anytask, which is the blockchain version of Fiverr.com, and use your skills and talents to generate crypto. Start a podcast. Start a crypto ATM business, which is something I'm working on right now, and I'm going to be putting together a whole series of videos from the very beginning of this venture all the way through my weekly profits. Create your own crypto project. The opportunities are endless and now is the time. Nothing is stopping you from changing your life in the cryptocurrency space but you. Dive in, be safe, and check out my Getting Started playlist for a lot of videos on everything mentioned above. And until next time, crow your coins.